Morning, hope you guys are okay. Wow, what a crazy morning on the Norfolk coast. I'd actually been out, um, oh sorry, I left left the house in search of um, in search of a nice frosty morning and some, you know, some nice wintry conditions. And I've, in the end, I managed to um, find the wintry conditions, but at the coast. I'm up Walcott and just parked up on the seawall, hiding with, um, in the safety of the car at the moment because it's become really, really wintry, really wintry, wintry shower coming in, the waves are occasionally crashing over the car and this morning has been amazing probably had about an hour and a bit of beautiful light beautiful conditions managed to do some videos managed to get some shots really pleased with them hopefully they'll all be okay superb conditions so what i'm going to do all i'm going to do with this one guys is is i'm just going to put up some clips some images hopefully you'll enjoy them with a bit of music um Amazing conditions, amazing conditions. Hope you enjoy the pictures and I hope to see you soon with a proper vlog and um, see you soon. Take care, bye bye. <laughs> okay guys, well I'm so sorry that wasn't able to record any audio or any speaking pieces at the time, but it would have been impossible. My words would have been drowned out by the sound of the sea or the sound of the wind. So um, we're gonna do it like this and hopefully this works. I'm just gonna talk over a few of, my, few of the images, maybe about four at a time and just sort of explain them, my thoughts behind them, the conditions, any techniques used, that sort of thing. Now, as you can see from the first image, it was a strange, eerie glow to the morning. Um, one of those conditions that you can't quite put across on a still image. It was, um, yeah, I think, yeah, that's the best word to describe it, eerie, sort of almost as if that was light before a storm or post-storm light even. But one of those things, and I couldn't, like I say, a bit disappointed I couldn't really put it across, but nonetheless, that was the start of the morning. I could see that the morning had great potential and there were some amazing wave shapes, really, really quite hypnotic. I think that, in fact, I think that's a great word for wave watching when you're at the coast and something like this has happened. You, you, you're almost hypnotized, transfixed by the shapes and forms. So um, that's basically what I was. And in this image here, this black and white image, it's a bit of a crop in from one of the waves um, breaking against the sea wall. But you can see the wonderful shapes, almost like um, thousands and thousands of lava lamps. Uh, just wonderful shapes, found that quite, quite amazing. And that's one of the wonderful things about when you're shooting waves. You can sometimes take a wider image and think, ah, oh, you know, there's nothing there. But you can sort of zoom in, have a crop, and you think, hold on, I can make an image out of this, even though you know you didn't intend to at the first, when you were taking the image, you saw the wider picture, but sometimes you can see an image within an image, so to speak. And that's what I've done on a few of these um, that I'm uploading today, which is um, which is great. You know, I'm really pleased with some of these. So I'll just put up this last one for you. And that's just, you know, just an example of that early light and some of the wonderful wave shapes. And then we'll move on to when the light became a little bit more blue. So yeah, I hope you can see the light became a lot more blue. Um, not particularly heavy on the old features in the clouds. Um, a little bit disappointing. Uh, quite heavy, quite featureless. It got better, but it was a little bit of a struggle for uh, for a little while. Probably a good 20 or so minutes before we started to get anything like sort of a nice ambient light come through. But nonetheless, you can see the shapes of the waves. Absolutely fantastic. And um, this next image, is taken at the bottom of a slipway that leads onto the beach at Walcott. And there's some nice shapes there and the nice railings make a good, make a good composition. But I was just, again, just transfixed by these shapes of the waves coming in. And of course, you know, I'm up on a seawall, back from, back from the lower seawall, so to speak. And that's a bit difficult to describe, but hopefully I've got a bit of footage that might explain that later on. And, um, but a very occasion you'd get, um, you get a more of a rogue way. So you have to be very careful and keep your, keep your wits about you. As, um, perhaps this third example will show, you know, there I am sort of on the upper wall, but there's some big old waves breaking through. And, you know, before you know it, your camera is covered and you've got a um, horrible sea salt covered camera, which of course, as, as we all know, are not, um, not great fun to clean, especially lenses. So I sort of kept my distance and kept safe. And as you can see, probably in this first Im third image, that yes, we're getting some lovely yellowy orange glow on the horizon. So light's starting to come through. The ambient light is lifting, looking much nicer, much nicer. 
And um, for this fourth image, this is actually a bit of a crop. Um, the, the actual wide image is absolutely fine in itself. But for me, I just wanted to concentrate on the wave breaking in the middle there. So I've sort of cropped in from either side and used this amazing shape breaking wave as the, you know, as the focal point of the image, which of course rightly it is. And yeah, rather, rather pleased with this one. I think that's, um, that gave me the sort of the impetus to stay there for a lot longer than perhaps I would have done normally and just see what else I could get. Um, yeah, really pleased with this image, really pleased. So that's a little bit more like it. Definition in the clouds, a little bit of side light coming in on the waves. Marvellous. And look at those shapes and all that wispy sea. Oh, I love it. Absolutely hypnotic, as I said earlier. Now, for this shoot, guys, I was mostly using the Z7 and the 2470. One of the things I'm using at the moment is I'm using the two camera system, which I'm really finding is working well for me. I'm keeping the 135 on the D850 and I've got the 2470 on the Z7 and that's working really nicely. No lens changing, all that sort of nonsense. Yes, a little bit more weight in the bag, but I'm quite happy to put up with that just for ease of use. And um, I think it's worked quite well. Didn't, like I say, didn't take too many on the D850 on this shoot. Um, the, the 24 to 70 was plenty enough. And, you know, like I say, with all these megapixel monsters we use nowadays, we can crop in easily. So um, just really enjoy it. Um, <laughs> As you can see with the second image, sorry, that just made me laugh and put me off my stroke when I, when, I, um, when I came to the next image. But yeah, that was a bit of a close one. Uh, that, that would, but, but I really like this image. I love the light coming through, that almost yellowish light sort of permeating through the waves. I had to get permeating in again, one of my favorite words at the moment. The way the light just came through the waves, almost a translucent look. So you've got yellow shades, you've got blue shades where the wave is against the sky. Really like this. It's quite bizarre, quite mad, but yeah, really pleased. And the light was just amazing. Beautiful, beautiful side light. And um, I just kept snapping away, taking far too many images. I've um, recently edited this um, set of images, guys, and uh, I don't think I've finished yet, but I've at least took a good 50% of the images away and there will be more to go later on. But you've got to take them at the time because when you get conditions like that, you really have got to take take them at the time and make sure you get them and double check you know double check your technique and keep checking your ISO because your ISO is changing a lot you know the light levels left and right do I need to keep shooting on ISO 800 can I take it down a bit and vice versa if the sun goes back in so um, yeah nice little set of images these yeah rather pleased with all of these yeah very nice very nice I'll be honest, I didn't really envisage many of these images being turned black and white, but I thought I'd have a look at changing a couple. Um, it worked quite nicely with the abstract at the start of the images I've um, I've shown you this on this vlog. And this one's quite nice. I quite like that shape breaking in the in the corner there. Uh, yeah, rather rather nice. Whether they work in black and white as well as colour, I don't know. I don't know. But um, moving on to these next ones, yeah, lovely. Again, more chaotic waves, beautiful yellowy tones coming coming through, which is lovely against the blue. Uh, really, really happy with these. Really happy with these. Um, yeah, <laughs> rather like the last one of this set where the um, where the sea is just encroaching on the left of the. Um, left of the image. I was okay there, particularly safe there, no problem. I've, I'm, I would never do anything daft with the sea, especially as a non-swimmer. So I'm, I'm well back, well out of the way. It's perhaps just perhaps not quite as apparent on this on this image, but I just love the way you've got those almost skeletal fingers coming into the from the bottom left there. Beautiful, re really pleased. One of the things I've have struggled with on this on this set of images is dealing with that quite heavy sky. Yes, I know there's a little bit more definition in there now, but on processing some of them, when you've got that heavy sort of almost featureless sky, it's sometimes very difficult to bring in, um, not, or sorry, to avoid bringing in a little bit of digital, a little bit of color noise. And I haven't had a lot of luck at the moment getting rid of some of that. So you might even see towards the break and wave on this last image, a little bit of a magenta tone coming in, which is a little annoying. Um, but I will work on that later on. But I wanted to get these images up to show you, but it is something I'm going to have to deal with. And what I must also mention about um, some of these images at the moment, I haven't done any particular, um, what am I trying to say, digital cleaning on them. So I haven't done any sort of um, 
luminance cleaning or anything. They're fairly noisy, I'll be honest, but hopefully they'll work all right on the big screens. <laughs> we shall, I hope they do anyway. But yes, they are a little bit, a little bit noisy because obviously most of these are quite high SOs and, you know, we've got some quite moody conditions there, but hopefully they all work and hope they look nice. And um, yeah, again, a nice little set of four here. Rather pleased with them. Yeah, nice. Here's a lovely period of soft light or an image from a lovely period of soft light we had. Now, I like soft light. I don't necessarily always need direct light. I'm, you know, that's kind of kind of guy I am. <laughs> it won't win many prizes, I know, but I do like soft, subtle light. And this was nice. I rather like these muted tones here. The, the waves break and still were lovely. They, they had that wonderful sort of yellow underbelly that came through against the blue. And I rather like this. I rather like this image, I must admit. Now, moving on to the rails, I managed to get a nice shot of the railings. It, it was actually getting quite difficult to get the railings in at a nice break of waves. And I think on this one, I've managed to manage to achieve that light. Very nice, nice ambient light lifting, beautiful light levels, I must admit. Um, really nice look to this. Obviously, it's a bit of a crop, cropped in from both sides for this one, but really, really like this, really like this. So yes, it was nice after like that subtle period of, um, of mu more muted light, we got onto back to more dramatic light. The clouds had a little bit more shape, as you can probably see behind behind this um, rather gorgeous breaking wave. Again, it's one of those images where you could zoom in and find other compositions. And again, with this last image, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Light coming in from the side, illuminating, just looking for those shapes, taking far too many images, editing thousands. Um, and yes, yeah, editing, editing, I must admit, though I talked about it earlier, but what's difficult? Because you think, oh, I could keep that, I could keep that. But you know, you've got to think of your hard drives and you've got to think, do I really want to keep looking at all these images? So, you know, try and be a little bit brutal with your editing if you can, though it's not easy, you know, when the when the shot is still, or the shoot, should I say, is still fresh in your mind. But anyway, yeah, rather pleased with these. And um, let's move on to the last images that I'm going to put up and my favourite, my favourite image of the morning. I'm going to show you two images here, sort of going through that concept of image within an image. The first one, just a bit of a crop into the chaotic nature of the sea. I just love stuff like this. Love it. And it was, as I said earlier in the vlog, hypnotic to watch. Absolutely beautiful. Um, this was taken on the 2470. Plenty of megapixels to, to crop in on, so not a problem with quality. And the second image is probably a wave that was breaking about 60 foot away from me. And obviously, you know, as you can see, this is a really fine crop, but the shapes, all those beautiful yellows, whites, the shadow areas, and just so much to look at. I would love to see this, you know, 10 foot long or something on a wall where you could just pick out all those wonderful things. You'd probably start seeing all sorts of strange things within, the, you know, within these wonderful, wonderful breaking waves. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's move on to this last one. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. I'm really, really pleased with this image. I've got about a three wave sequence here. Um, and then this was the last one I probably took before I took my um, finger off the shutter. Rather pleased with it. Uh, gorgeous light coming in. What I love the tones. Love the tones inside the wave as it's breaking. It's almost got a shell-like look, the wave as it breaks. You know, there's some lovely definition in the sky behind. All in all, that for me, that's probably my favourite of the morning. I may, um, I may go back through the files and find another one, but I think this is probably my favourite. Um, so really pleased. And all I'm going to say now, guys, is um, thanks for watching this today, guys. It's a little bit, um, a little bit strange doing it like this. Obviously, I would dearly love to film it. You know, or sorry, should I say, record audio while I was out in the field shooting these. Um, because it, you know, I want to try and put across how much I enjoy my day and my feelings at the time. And obviously it's very difficult when, you know, when it's all happened and done, but I hope you've enjoyed just looking at these. I'll put the, you know, this will be a sort of a short vlog, but I hope it's entertained you guys. And I hope you've enjoyed the images. All I will just say now, guys, if you can please give me a little bit of help with a little bit of, um, encouragement, a little bit of feedback, a like, 
comments, it all helps. Uh, I'm doing well, approaching the old thousand in my sort of slow gibbo way. It's not a major thing for me, but it would be nice to get there just to say, hey, I've got to a thousand. And I'm spending a lot of time now filming for vlogs. Um, got another couple in the can ready to go. Um, it's very strange, actually. I, until I got into the, this position where I've got vlogs waiting, I've um, I've never sort of understand what other guys who do these must think. Think, oh, I'd like to put this out now. But you've got to keep, you know, it's nice now to keep them out regularly, but it's also nice to keep them back and go, right, OK, if I can't get out this week, I can put that one out because it's ready. So thank you, guys. And I'm digressing and talking a little old tripe. So sorry about that. But thank you ever so much for your support. Thanks if you um, if you consider subscribing you hadn't already that would be great thank you look after yourselves hug your loved ones as I always say keep a good light and um, I hope to see you soon I'll actually I'll see you soon from the Norfolk Broads lovely chilly morning look out for that one that'll be with you soon okay take care bye bye bye.